now in this video we will learn about how can we you know, find uh, the solution of a given expression binomial expression by using the binomial theorem so here you can see we have given 1 minus 3x whole power 7 first of all i will convert this 1 minus 3x in a plus b form right so i will write 1 plus and this will become second term minus 3x whole power 7 right i will write minus 3x in brackets so between first and second term we have plus sign now we will apply the binomial theorem so binomial theorem is saying first of all we will take the power or a power 7 so 1 power 7 and b power is 0 minus 3x power is 0 plus we have n and in this case in place of n we have 7 so i will write 7 and the first extra term is 1 i will i am going to decrease the power of first term which is 1 so in second term we have 1 power 6 and minus 3x which is our second term i am going to increase its power because it is starting from 0 in next term its power is going to increase the power of a is going to decrease up till 0 and the power of minus 3x is starting from 0 and it is increasing up till going towards 7 the maximum power right next term is that you know n into n minus 1 so in this case we have 7 into 7 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial 1 power is going to decrease minus 3x power is going to increase here similarly we are going towards next step we are going to decreasing the power n into n minus 1 n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 divided by 4 factorial and the power of 1 is going to decrease and the power of minus 3x is going to increase similarly next step we will do 7 into 7 minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 divided by 5 factorial so 5 factorial mean the power of b will be 5 and the power of 1 will be going to decrease it's going to 2 next step what will we do 7 n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 n minus uh, 5 and divided by 6 factorial and 1 power is going to decrease its 1 here and minus 3x power is going to increase its 6 here and the last step is 7 meaning n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 n minus 5 n minus 6 up till 1 divided by 7 factorial and you can see the power of 1 which was 7 here it is going to decrease in each term in each step next term and it is going to 0 and the power of minus 3x it is from the starting from 0 and it is going to increase 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 and in the last step its power is 7 the maximum power after writing applying this binomial theorem we will simplify whatever we have got so 1 power 7 is 1 minus 3x whole power 0 is 1 so first term will be 1 here similarly next steps whatever is going to cut whatever is going to cancel each other we will cancel them what is left we will multiply them and when we will proceed further we will get the expression of this form keep in mind that the power of uh, second term uh, sign is minus 3x so <clears throat> where the power of minus 3x is uh, odd number its answer will be minus so you can see second term will be minus right and where the power of minus 3x is a uh, as an even number so it will be positive so it will remain positive where minus 3x power is 3 it will be all expression will be minus so keep it in mind whenever you will do <coughs> simplify it you have to keep in mind this thing that the power uh, second term has a minus sign so this minus sign will affect in our answer when we will 
have its power is an odd number so in this way we will apply our binomial theorem and this is the application of binomial theorem in the given questions and this is the way how can you solve the question by using the binomial theorem it's so simple just you need practice 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 and then it will be very easy for you mathematics needs practice hopefully you can understand